Okay, class. Welcome back. Today is an auspicious day. Not because it's Thursday when you're watching this, probably, maybe, but because, as promised, I'm here to review possibly the worst book I've ever read, at least this year. It's definitely a contender. The only other challenger is Hot Pterodactyl Boyfriend. If you haven't watched the review of Hot Pterodactyl Boyfriend, go and do that now because put a lot of work into that. Probably pretty good to get some more views on it. So today though, as you can see by the title, we're going to be reviewing Strange Practice by Vivian Shaw. This is, without question, one of the shittest books I've ever read in my life. Now, you may be wondering, why is that? We're going to get to that. Of course, I need to first delve into the good points. So here are the good points. The words are spelled correctly, for the most part. Do you know what? They're not even. They're not even fucking all spelled correctly. This book couldn't even get that right. It's a fucking piece of shit book. You should never fucking read it. And that's basically, that's the bite, the bite size review right there. If you want to just leave it at that, you can. There's nothing worth taking from this book. It's fucking shit. And now I'm going to fucking lambast it for minutes at a time. So let's start with the plot. What is this book about? This book is about a GP in London who does work on supernatural creatures. That sounds like a brilliant idea, doesn't it? Like a sort of doc, like a like house MD, but for the undead. That would have been fucking brilliant. But this book actually isn't about that at all. It is about a GP in London that does that. But actually, it's about a secret sect of murderous monks. And it's like written like a fucking children's book like for morons it's it's so awful like it does absolutely nothing with this premise at all like that she's a doctor like the just oh my god like it's it says that she's inherited a highly specialized highly peculiar medical practice she spends her day treating london's undead there's no fucking treatment of the undead in this it's fucking bollocks like she might go oh Mate, you've got a cough, sort that out. But that's it. Like, most of the time, it's about these guys that are just like monks and they want to murder um, her vampire friend. And that's it. And then it's like, the only reason that this is about a doctor and not a detective is because there are about 500 fucking thousand supernatural detective books. And this fucking pleb, Vivian Shaw, wanted to seem different but it's not different it's the same and it's fucking garbage to mention like to boot so let's talk about the writing style um it's uh, atrocious um very much perfunctory uh, would be a polite way of putting it but basically it just plods along the the fucking chapters like the pacing i'm jumping about in this review but the anger is seeping through my brain so the pacing uh, really fucking hinders the writing style because the writing itself is really slow and and not fast i don't think this this woman has read a thriller or understands what like she tried to write a thriller but didn't understand what she was meant to do with that so not only are like not only does it ramble on and on and on, but it's also each chapter is like 40 fucking pages long. Like, Jesus Christ, it's it's so arduous to get through. It took me literally a month to read because it's so painfully slow to just churn through. Um, let's talk now about characters. Of course, main character, Dr. Greta Helsing, is just like a fucking nothing character. She does nothing. She's got no ambitions or dreams. The The plot, as I said, the plot is about murderous monks that want to kill her friends. But at no point is there any sense of real danger um, at all. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I was never worried for anyone. Um, you know, the character, like Greta Helsing, she's got no reason to get mixed up in this, really. And it just sort of shows a real weakness in the world building here because there's like a supernatural like gp but there's no other sort of support network for supernatural creatures there's no like there isn't a police force there isn't like any there's not more than one doctor like she's got she's got people like she's got two people that sort of work for her in her clinic 
but they're like her friends and she doesn't pay them or some shit. And it's just fucking garbage. Like none of it makes any fucking sense. Um, not to mention like the other characters, like there's these other characters and there's vampires. And like these vampires, like one of them is like your Dracula sort. And one of them is like this freak vampire who it's mentioned multiple times that he's got like fucking mirror glass eyes, which is fine. But there's like no attempt to like have weaknesses with these characters. Like the vampires, like oh, I've got fucking mirrored eyeballs, and they're like, oh, just jump in the fucking Volvo, mate, in the middle of the day, and go and do some grocery shopping for us. And it's never mentioned like he's a fucking freak. And no one's like, oh yeah, like oh, I went to the supermarket, but. Like, everyone started fucking panicking when they saw me have fucking mirrored eyeballs. And, like, the vampires are sort of immune to the sun, but not really. They just get sunburned. So, uh, what was the fucking point of them? And then there's this other character who's, like, an old man who turns out to be a demon. Like, a devil. Um, he's not the devil, but the devil is in this book. Um, and his character is the worst because he's just like a deus ex machina, um, which resolves the plot just completely, just like, don't don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about uh, f finding out things or investigating or using your abilities. Like, this guy's got it. He's fucking, like, he's God, essentially, but he's just a demon. And then, like, later on, like, there's just, oh, my God, the dialogue in this book is so stilted it's like it was written by somebody who'd never heard a conversation before in their fucking life. Like, if you're writing dialogue, okay, and you want to make it sound more natural, you're worried, does this sound natural dialogue? Read your fucking dialogue out loud, all right? And you'll see if it sounds like a, someone with like, brain damage has said it. And that's what it sounds like. Like, there's attempts at witty banter at the end, but you'd only think that's witty if you'd just woken up from a fucking ten-year coma and you can't remember what human language sounds like. It's so appalling. Ah, It hurts my brain just thinking about it, like, for too long. And I, I don't want to think about it any longer than I have to. So that's, that's basically... That's it. Like, what more can I say? The plot is awful... It's just, fuck it, it's so slow, it's paced terribly. Like, the characters are nothing, none of them have any ambitions or development at all. Like, it's just all bullshit. Like, the ultimately, the plot is resolved through deus ex machina bullshit. Um, there's no real resolution, there's no consequences to anything. It's just fucking nonsense. It's just things happening. Um, there's no exploration of any themes, there's no growth, there's no nothing. Um, and, like, it's just boring. It's just boring to read. Um, absolutely fucking atrocious. It didn't do well at absolutely anything. Um, it completely wastes its premise. Um, there's no, there's no point in it being a doctor. And ultimately, it reads like a fucking terrible episode of Doctor Who that just didn't get on the air because it was too shit. Um, and considering the state of Doctor Who now, that's like the worst thing I could possibly say about it. Um, it's, it's fucking garbage. Uh, Vivian Shaw, um, either practice writing more or just give up completely because this is atrocious. Uh, I won't be looking out for the next uh, Dr. Greta Helsing novel, um, as it says that I should in the back of this. Uh, look out for, it says look out for the, for the next Dr. Greta Helsing novel, which, which implies that the publisher, whoever, whatever fucking moron published this, Orbit, uh, normally I, I have respect for you, Orbit, because you publish loads of sci-fi stuff. But this is, this is like the worst th thing you could have done. Um, it's absolute rubbish. I can't imagine who would read it. Um, like it reads, it's an adult novel, um, but it reads like it was it aimed at like a brain damaged toddler um, that really can't understand anything more complicated uh, than like made up stories by the, like if their dad made up a bedtime story. Um, like the main, the, like, just to highlight how awful it is, um, this, if this doesn't make you cringe, like, maybe we shouldn't be friends, um, or maybe, you know, maybe you should just, um, grow up, uh, and read better books or something, but the main, the, like, the mad monks, they're referred to as mad monks, first of all, which is just fucking stupid, um, it sounds like a, like a toddler said it, you know, um, but secondly, like, the, the mad monks religious order is called the Sword of Holiness, like, for fuck's sake, it's like, it's like someone just, like, 
Vivian Shaw's sitting there, right? She's sitting there in her office. She's writing this book. She's like, oh, I've got this ancient religious order. Um, they're, they're meant to sound menacing. Uh, how can I make them sound scary? What's a, a threatening name? Uh, Sword of uh, Holiness. Ugh, that's so bad. Like, even the Order of the Holy Sword sounds more legitimate than the Sword of Holiness. Do, do you see where I'm coming from? It's so awful. It's so bad. I just, I want to give you so many examples, but I don't have the strength in me mentally to go through the book and find examples of everything that's awful. Um, but trust me, it's atrocious. This is probably the most negative review I've ever given on this channel. And surprisingly, it got zero stars. Because of my criteria, I'm allowed to do that. Zero stars for you, Vivian Shaw and Strange Practice. I rated this like one star on Goodreads, and that's only because I wanted to damage the overall rating. Because if you don't rate it anything, your voice isn't heard, so you've got to rate it at least one just to bring the average down. Um, this is a warning um, to anyone writing shit books. Don't allow me to read them. <laughs> uh, you can't stop me, obviously, if I go into a shop and buy this book. Uh, you can't stop me reading it. You can't stop me reviewing it. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really bad. Don't pick it up. It's like you, It'll probably just make you stupider to read it, to be honest. Um, so good riddance to Strange Practice by Vivian Shaw. I won't be reading anything else you have to write unless someone tells me that it's magically not shit anymore but i can't imagine that happening so see you later that's going to the charity bin that's it for this review i'll see you next time with another video hopefully with something a bit more positive bye